We all recognise this as a symbol of Germany, the good old black, red, gold flag which apparently has its origins in the early 19th century. But there's another symbol that's in common use and its origins are much older. This is the Bundesadler, the Federal Eagle. You might think that the black, red and gold of the German coat of arms were chosen to reflect the colours of the flag. But here is a 14th century depiction of the Imperial Eagle and it looks very similar to the modern symbol. That's a bit of a coincidence. The shield was gold, representing the status of emperor. The eagle was black, but beginning with the 14th century it became conventional to depict the beak and talons of a heraldic eagle in red. The fact that these were the colours of the modern German flag did, it is true, make it an obvious choice for the modern coat of arms. It's not a very accurate depiction of an eagle though, but it's not meant to be. It's a heraldic charge, an abstract symbol. It doesn't really represent an eagle, it represents the authority of the state. A more anatomically correct eagle was used centuries previously by the Romans. It didn't represent the Roman Empire, but rather the abstract notions of courage and strength, and so it was often carried into battle. In the 10th century, the Holy Roman Empire was formed. This mostly consisted of territories where people spoke German language varieties, but it saw itself as a kind of recreation of the old Roman Empire. The Middle Ages were very confusing. The eagle, now an abstract heraldic symbol, at first represented the general idea of a supranational union. A lot of different countries all clubbing together, a bit like the modern European Union. But it soon came to represent the emperor himself. Around the 15th century the double-headed eagle appeared. This represented the fact that the emperor was also a king. In fact, he had to be crowned king before he could be crowned emperor, and so the two heads represented this dual role. Over the centuries it went through a few redesigns, but it remained basically the same symbol. In 1806 the Holy Roman Empire came to an end, but the Duchy of Austria was elevated to the status of empire, and so it started to use the double-headed eagle. In 1815 the German Confederation was formed and since Austria was its most senior member the Austrian Eagle was used to represent it. That came to an end in 1866 when first the North German Confederation was formed which is a complicated story and then the new German Empire, both without Austria. And so to avoid confusion Germany reverted to the single-headed eagle. The eagle continued to represent Germany after the collapse of the monarchy. In 1926 it was redesigned in what was at the time a strikingly modern form. And that is the version that's still in use today on the coat of arms. But there are different forms of the eagle for different purposes. For example this is the presidential standard. This is the Great Seal, which is used for very official purposes and has seven feathers on each wing. The Lesser Seal has six feathers on each wing. And the new logo for the German government and its agencies, which was only introduced about ten years ago, has only five. And this is the Federal Shield, used on the government flag to be flown only by federal government agencies. Its use by anyone else is a punishable offence. And before anyone says, but we've seen people waving that flag at sporting events, shouldn't they all be arrested? The flag you saw was this one. The difference is that it uses not the federal shield, but the coat of arms. And while that's technically illegal, because it can still be confused with the real thing, the German legal principle of social acceptability means that its use is tolerated. In short, this is one rule you are allowed to break. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. And don't forget to visit my website and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Also, if you'd like access to special bonus content and help with the costs of running this channel, please consider making a small monthly donation on Patreon.